Detective James Reynolds arrived at the scene of the crime, a small apartment in the heart of the city. What do we know so far, officer? Officer Maria Rodriguez turned to him, a grim expression on her face. It's not good, detective. We got a call from the landlord. Said there was a bad smell coming from one of the units. When we got here, we found the victim. It's not pretty. Who is the victim? Her name is Sarah Chen. She's a young woman, early 20s. She lived here alone. Any signs of forced entry? No, sir. The door was unlocked when we arrived. It looks like she let the killer in herself. What about the cause of death? We're not sure yet. The coroner is on their way. All right. Let's secure the scene and start gathering evidence. I want a full sweep of the apartment. I want to know everything there is to know about Sarah Chen and anyone who might have had a motive to kill her. And with that, the investigation into the murder of Sarah Chen began. James and Maria began their investigation by searching Sarah's apartment for any clues that might help them identify the killer. They carefully combed through every inch of the small apartment, looking for anything that might be out of Anything yet, officer? Not yet, sir. It's a small place, but it's packed with stuff. It's going to take some time to go through it all. Take your time, officer. We need to be thorough. Let me know if you find any. As Maria continued to search the apartment, James stepped outside to get some fresh air and clear his head. He knew that solving this case was going to be a challenge. There didn't seem to be any obvious suspects or motives, and the lack of forced entry suggested that the killer was... Who would want to hurt her? As he pondered the question, his phone rang. It was the coroner, calling with an update on Sarah's cause of death. Reynolds here. What do you have for me? It's not good news, detective. Sarah Chen was strangled. Looks like it happened sometime last night. Any signs of sexual assault? Negative. But we'll know more once we get her back to the lab. All right. Keep me updated. He hung up the phone and took a deep breath, trying to push down the anger and frustration that was building inside him. He knew that every minute that passed was a minute that the killer could be getting away. Get- We need to catch this guy, and fast. As he re-entered the apartment, Maria called out to him from the bedroom. Detective, I think you need to see this. James rushed to the bedroom and found Maria standing over a small desk, where a laptop was open and running. What did you find? Take a look at this. She pointed to the screen, where a series of emails and chat logs were displayed. They reveal that Sarah had been involved in a heated online dispute with a man named Mark Johnson, who had been harassing her for weeks. This could be something. Good work, officer. Let's find out everything we can about this Mark Johnson guy. James and Maria immediately set to work tracking down any information they could find on Mark Johnson. They searched through social media, online forums, and chat rooms, trying to find any trace of the man who had been harassed. Anything yet, officer? I think I found something, detective. A user named Mark has been posting on a forum dedicated to gaming. He's been pretty active over the past few weeks, and his posts seem to match the description we have of the suspect. Good work, officer. Let's see if we can track down his location. They contacted the website's administrator, who provided them with Mark Jizip address. With that information, they were able to trace the location of the computer he was using to a small apartment on the other side of the city. All right. Let's pay this guy a visit. They arrived at the apartment building and knocked on the door. After a few moments, a man opened the door. Can I help you? Are you Mark Johnson? Yeah, that's me. What's this about? We have reason to believe that you were involved in the murder of Sarah Chen. What? That's insane. I barely knew her. Is that so? Because we have evidence that suggests otherwise. They showed him the chat logs and emails that they had found on Sarah's computer, and Mark's expression turned to one of shock and horror. I can't believe this. I was just messing around. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. That's not good enough, Mark. You're under arrest for the murder of Sarah Chen. As they took Mark into custody, James felt a sense of relief wash over him. Finally, they had caught the killer and brought him to justice. But even as he reflected on the success of the investigation, he couldn't shake the feeling that there was still so much he didn't know. Why had Mark targeted Sarah in the first place? What had driven him to commit such a heinous act? The questions would continue to haunt as Mark was taken away. James and Maria continued to process the evidence they had gathered, trying to piece together the motive for Sarah's murder. They discovered that Mark had become obsessed with Sarah after playing a game with her online. He had developed a crush on her and had been trying to get her attention for weeks. When she had rebuffed his advances, he had become enraged and had decided to take matters into his own hands. It's a shame. Such a senseless act of violence, all because of some online game. game. 
Yeah, it's a warning, though, we never know who we're really talking to online. That's for sure. We need to do a better job of educating people about online safety. Maybe we could start by talking to some local schools and community centers. That's a great idea, sir. As they wrapped up the investigation, James felt a sense of satisfaction, knowing that they had brought Sarah's killer to justice. But he also knew that there would always be more cases to solve, more mysteries to unravel. And as long as there were criminals out there, he would be 